We are going to create a batch file in Windows 10 that will connect your network drives. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm not on campus, so I want to go to my network settings. I'm going to go to my VPN and I want to connect it. You can see I'm already connected here. This is the Windows built-in VPN connection that I'm using. So uh, it appears as though I'm on the, the Purdue network so that I'll be able to connect to the drives. And if you are on campus, you shouldn't need the VPN. If you are off campus, you must enable the VPN. Otherwise, uh, you will not be able to connect. From this PC, you're going to want to look and see if you already have some drives listed there. If you have some drives listed there, try them. If they don't work, right click on it, disconnect. So again, if you've got a drive listed here and it's not working, right click on it, disconnect, it should disappear. Open up Notepad, it's a plain text editor, and a light, write just a couple of lines of code. Your first line is going to be echo off. Echo off simply says not to write out the line of code that you're going to put next, because when you double click on the batch file, it opens up a black box Temporarily, once the connection is made, the black box disappears and it's gone and you don't want your login and password sitting there for anyone to see. We're going to use a net use statement, so we'll do net use, it's net space use space, and then we're going to choose a drive letter and I'm going to choose O, so we'll do O colon space. Then we need to use the folder. So I'm going to start with 353 here. The folder that we need is, is this right here. So we're going to do a backslash backslash ecniisdeb.ecn.purdue.edu backslash cgt353. Put a space. Next is your Purdue career account password. I'm obviously not going to type mine here. So your Purdue career account password, a space, forward slash, user colon, your Purdue career account login, a space, forward slash, persistent colon no, which tells, tells the operating system not to try and connect this drive every time you start the computer, because that'll just slow down your startup. So this is, this is the entire thing. Um, except you're going to have your password here uh, with a space there. And you're going to have your login right here with a space right here. Once you've done that, go to a file, save as. And we want to save this out to the desktop. We're going to get rid of that .txt there. And we're going to name it something like connectdrives.bat. Now I already have that on my desktop, so I'm just going to do con, c-o-n-n, drives.bat. If you save it like that, it should save with a .bat extension. If you want to make sure that it does, you can put double quotes around it. So here I've got double quote, con drives dot bat double quote. When I save that, that's going to go out to my desktop. And the way that you know that it's worked is you should see these gears here. So I mouse over it, it says Windows Batch File, it's got gears on it. If it looks like a text file, it did not work. It, it should have these gears on it. So now you've got this, the next thing to do is double click that. Now before, uh, before I do that, I'm going to drag this off screen and I'm going to actually put my login and password in there so that we can make this work. So now I have actually saved this again with my login and password in it. Again, I'm off campus, so my VPN is enabled. When I double click this, you're going to see a black box appear and disappear. And then in this PC, you see my drive appear here. So I can go there and I can open it up. 
Now for me, I'm going to see everybody. When you open it up, you should only see yours, right? So here's my drive. So now, I'm going to bring this back on screen. You can do this for multiple drives. So I have three classes here lined up. So this video is going to work for any of these three classes. I'm going to use, um, let's see, I'm going to use J and then N and I kind of got these out of order. This bottom one, I'm just going to leave the same. It's my, it's the 353 one. Uh, this next one up, I'm going to make my 356 one. And this top one, I'm going to make my 456 one. So you'll see. I've changed the drive letter, uh, the, the location of the server stays the same, all we've changed is 356 and 456 there. Do a file, save, it should be your same username, your same password for, for each of them. Now if you're, if you're not in all three classes, it's not going to work for you obviously. If you're in two of the classes, you can put two of them in the same file like I've done here. I'm going to drag this back off screen and put my actual password in there. I'm going to save that again. So I've got this drive down here again. I'm going to right click on this and disconnect. It should disappear. So there, there's nothing there. And now I have those. I have all three of these in my file now, so I'm going to double click it. There was that black box that appeared and disappeared, and now I've got all three of my drives that appear here. So I can go into 353, I can come back out to this PC, I can go into 356, I can come back out to this PC, I can go into 456, just like that. So now you've got this connectdrives.bat file here that'll work for you. Each time you, you want to map your drive, or you, you turn on your computer, you make sure your VPN is enabled, and then you double click this file, and you should see your drives appear here. So again, uh, when we first started, we, make, we made sure that we didn't already have one here. If we already have one and it's working, then, then you're fine. You don't need to do anything. But if it's not working, then you right click on it, disconnect to get rid of them. Again, we created it using Notepad, a plain text editor. We had an echo off statement at the top. Um, we wrote a net use statement for the folder that you needed. You may only need one of these. Um, I did an example for each of three classes. So you may only need one of those three. You might need two of those three. Um, save it as a .bat. That's very important. Once you save it as a .bat, it's going to look like this with gears on it. Um, you might need to put double quotes around it to force it to save it as a .bat instead of a .txt. If it does not have the gears, you need to go and save it again and, and use the double quotes and make sure you got a .bat on the end of it. Um, I keep mine on my desktop so that when I start it up, uh, I can enable my VPN, I can double click this really fast and all my drives are there and I'm ready to go. You need to also save a copy somewhere else. I suggest putting it in your Purdue home directory so that if you're on campus and you want access to it, um, whenever you log into a campus computer, you should have access to it. Um, to run it, again, you just double click it. Uh, and then your once it runs, and then your drive should appear here. It looks like two of them showed up this time. So what we can do to troubleshoot this is I can open up a command prompt. And I can run it from there. So 
So here I've got the commands completed successfully, already in use, already in use. These two say already in use because I had already mapped them. They're, they're right back here. This is the one that didn't map the previous time. So let me disconnect this. Disconnect this one. Yes, that's fine. Disconnect this one. So there they're gone again. I'm going to wait just a few seconds here. But I'm back in my command prompt window. Again, what I did was I just went down in Windows and I did a CMD. And that launched my command prompt. I did a change directory to the desktop because that's where my file is stored. You've got to be in the in the directory where your file is stored. I type the name of my file. And I'm going to I'm going to move this up here. We'll hit enter. It says echo off, which prevents it from writing out your your username and password. And so here I've gotten three errors. Let me go and make sure that my VPN is still enabled. My VPN is still enabled. It's interesting that I've got password incorrect. Let me try running it one more time. So let's troubleshoot that. I'll come over here. I'm off screen now. I'm going to make sure that this is saved. All I've done is, is open up my notepad window to check and make sure that this file here is saved. And I'm going to run it again. Connect drives.bat. I'm going to leave this as part of the video. It's good to have as troubleshooting. So apparently I was connecting and disconnecting so many times uh, that it triggered something on the server to block me. Um, so after waiting a while and contacting ECN, uh, I was able to connect once again. So again, to recap, <clears throat> your drives are drives are there. You've got your connect drives.bat. Again, I was showing you how to do it in the command prompt. If I were to do it again, it's going to say that it's already in use. We'll try this one more time just to see if it locks me out again. I'll disconnect these three. Hopefully it won't. There's those three. And again, what I did was open up a command prompt so that I could actually see what was happening. I ran the drive completed successfully. There are my three drives that I can go into.